Hey guys I'm Papa Joe and I'm back with a brand new Call of Duty mobile video on my channel. After sharing some information about the upcoming season 1 in my previous video, I want to show you some more relevant information about the next season for Call of Duty mobile, which has been released in the past hours. As we know, the new season 1 will feature a creepy and mysterious theme. After the official Twitter account of Call of Duty Mobile published a new video yesterday, we now know what the new Season 1 will really be called. In a few days the new Season 1 called Soldier's Tale will start and in my opinion the title fits perfectly with the character skins that have been revealed in various teasers so far. Furthermore, according to the Battle Pass Countdown, the new Season 1 will start in exactly one week. Through the monthly login calendar, however, we have an exact date when the first season of the year should start, because the current season 11 will end on January 10th, which is why the new season 1 Soldier's Tale will start on January 11th 2024 at 9pm. However, according to Murderblast, the new season 1 update will be available for everyone tomorrow and the long-awaited Mythic Siren song Lucky Draw will also be released tomorrow in COD Mobile. Who of you is ready for the first season of the new year? Let me know your honest opinion in the comments section. We continue with a new multiplayer map, which according to the data miners will also be added to the new season 1 in Call of Duty Mobile. I'm talking about the Atrium MP map which is known from Modern Warfare and was created exclusively for the gunfight mode in MW. Atrium is a courtyard situated at the Palace Dome section of Anaya Palace in Rizakstan which features a fountain and a small tree at its center. The interior features pillars situated around the fountain which can be used for cover. The map is lit by the bombed out Palace Dome and some light comes from the marble Arabic styled windows found on the walls. Some corners of the map are lit with decorative chandeliers mentioned before is the fountain and a tree which is situated below the palace stone. It can be used as partial cover and obstructs one's vision to the enemy spawn. The map is designed in such a way that it supports fast-paced frenetic gameplay no matter the kind of loadout players use. Write me in the comments if you are looking forward to the new multiplayer map for Call of Duty Mobile or not. A new attachment for the all 736 liters MG will also be released for the new Season 1. Equipped with an integrated silencer barrel, it sacrifices a certain amount of accuracy and control capabilities and brings higher mobility. Although the new attachment could be good, I think that an attachment for a different weapon would have made more sense. Feel free to write your opinion in the comments. After showing you some information about the possible rewards of the upcoming Season 1 Soldier's Tale Battle Pass in my previous video, let's take a look at more information relevant to the new BP. Although not all rewards are known yet, which will probably change in the next few days, there are already some hints about some rewards. On the one hand, it is safe to assume that this new epic operator with his elegant appearance and hat will be in the Season 1 Battle Pass. Furthermore, there is a possibility that this epic Alice in Wonderland operator will also be in the new Battle Pass, as well as this epic blueprint for the S-36. Unfortunately, there is no further information on which rewards will also be in the new Season 1 Battle Pass. There is also no further information on which previous Battle Pass will appear in the Battle Pass Vault for Season 1. If there is any new information, I will of course inform you about it. Apart from that, new information, teasers and the trailer for the upcoming Mythic's Iron Lucky Draw have finally been released, which according to data miners will be released tomorrow in COD Mobile. On the one hand, Call of Duty Mobile Garena has published a new gameplay for the epic base melee called Siren's Razor on Instagram, which I don't want to withhold from you. In addition, the official Instagram account of Garena has published another gameplay which is again for the legendary BK57 blueprint which you can get in the Mythic Siren Lucky Draw.
The developers have also revealed more details about the new Mythic Operator skin, such as the base version, the advanced version and its special animation. Let me know in the comments which of you are looking forward to the Mythic Lucky Draw or not. And that's it for the video. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it. If so, give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel be sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell. Don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel. Thank you so much.